Hi, I'm Martine, and today I'll be reading about St. Blaise from Stories of the Saints by Carrie Wallace with pictures by Nick Thornborough. Blaise had just become a bishop when the Roman governor, Agricola, gave orders that all the Christians who could be found should be rounded up and fed to wild beasts. Your life is in danger, Blaze's friends warned him. So he fled to the hills outside his city of Sebist in Turkey, which was part of the Roman Empire in those days. Blaze lived in a cave where all the wild beasts would come to him for help. He had been a doctor before he became a bishop, and he gave the animals herbs to eat if they were sick, and bound up their sores if they were wounded. As the local people noticed Blaze's healing powers, farmers even began to sneak into the woods to ask for his help with their sick animals. Whole herds of Wild deer crept up to his cave, and flocks of birds landed on the ground around it to ask for his blessing. One day, Agricola's hunters were out in the forest looking for wild beasts to capture and take back to eat Christians in the amphitheater. They stumbled upon Blaze's cave. Blaze was there, kneeling in prayer. All around him, wounded animals waited patiently, wolves, bears, and even lions. Agricola's hunters knew that catching the missing bishop might earn them an even bigger prize than any wild animal they could find. So instead of capturing animals, the hunters captured Blaze and took him back to Agricola. On the way, Blaze saw a wolf trotting by with a whole pig in its jaws. A poor woman stood on the side of the road nearby, weeping. What am I supposed to do? She said, the wolf has stolen my pig. Wolf, Blaze said, bring this woman's pig back. To everyone's astonishment, the wolf padded meekly up to the woman and dropped the pig at her feet, alive and without a scratch. When the hunters brought Blaze back to the city, a woman ran up to them in the street, her little boy in her arms. This is my only son, she cried. He's choking on a fish bone. Blaze prayed, and the boy was healed. When the hunters led Blaze into Agricola's court and told Agricola these stories, Agricola was amazed. But you still must renounce your faith, he told Blaze. Blaze refused, so Agricola had him thrown in a jail where the woman whose son Blaze had cured brought him a pair of candles to drive away the darkness. Then Agricola had Blaze put on the rack and ordered his flesh torn with iron wool combs. A coat of mail heated red hot was put on his injured skin, but Blaze still wouldn't deny his faith. So Agricola ordered that Blaze be tossed in a lake to drown. When Blaze's feet hit the water, 
They didn't plunge through. Instead, he began to walk across the surface, just as if it was dry land. He walked all the way out to the middle of the lake and sat down. If you believe in your gods, he called to the pagans on the shore. Then come, join me on the water. Some of them tried, but they all drowned. Then Blaze heard a voice from heaven. Go back to shore, it said. It's time to accept your fate. So Blaze walked back over the water to land where Agricola had him beheaded because the king didn't know what to make of the miracles he had seen. The end. <laughs>